lifts us and steadies. It stabilizes us and strengthens. Steel, an offering of the earth. It is fired, hammered, bent. Metallic muscle, sturdy of hand, gutsy of mind. So tough, steel demands respect. A one-time train man remembers the rolling wheel where it hugged the rail. The wheel and the rail are touching and, and moving at tremendous uh, speed and with tremendous speed and force. Fred Schmidt knows of steel's hard, but delights in its delicate dance. An artist hefting the steel. Talent on display in pieces of steel formed and fashioned and finally finished. Even in this Cleveland metal shop, there is a concert. When I'm grinding it and the wheel is grinding on the steel, it's like singing. If there is a song of steel, it is here in the shop, scattered of scrap metal. Former railroad worker Fred Schmidt conducts the beauty out of scrap strewn about. Long ago in the railroad yard, inspiration strikes the railroad man. A call wails like a locomotive's lungs, and an artist is born. And lo and behold, I came up with this little tiny piece of sculpture, and everybody was laughing at it. There are no giggles anymore. For the last three decades, Fred Schmidt has leaned into his artwork and helped change art's landscape. In his Cleveland studio, shared with his son, it is the sharp clank of steel and the heavy-handedness of moving metal. There is even meditation over the metal. A freedom of movement and a surprise in my sculpture. And I try to exploit the, the movement of the steel so that the steel looks like it, it's, it's just touching in places, and, uh, but yet it's, it's doing movements in space. Amid the jagged throwaway metal, a harmony here, scrap heap into symphony. Metal winces under the heft of the hammer and the grunt of the grinder, hearing the haunting whisper of the welder sting. Father and son, linked by blood, welded by steel. Two Cleveland generations listening to Steel's tone. He is my mentor. He is my, my teacher. I, I, I just feel so much involved in his thoughts. On certain days, I can walk over a pile of scrap or junk or part of pieces of metal that I have in my studio here, and I won't even notice it. And then the next day, I'm looking at them, and they all, they're all becoming active, and they start moving. And, and I'm saying, oh, this piece belongs with this piece, and this piece, and this piece. It helped build America. It's railroads, it's roadsters, it's ships, it's skyline. This is steel, heavy, strong, lasting. But steel can also be artfully delicate when pulled and probed and polished by artistic hands to be uplifting and to reach out and to, to, to move, move up and forward and out. Fred and Jerry pull from the steel its secrets. They search for a beauty hidden inside, awaiting strong hands and artistic eyes. There are mysteries in the metal and also in the men who work the metal. You need to cut it in certain ways and trim it and, and roll it and weld it and form it and, and then juxtaposition those, position, those pieces in, into a sculpture. An old folk tale has it of a strong railroad builder who was a steel driving man, Lord, Lord. Fred Schmidt once worked the gritty steel of the railroads. No longer the railroader, but Fred Schmidt still works the steel. He is a steel sculpted man, Lord, Lord. Fred Schmidt is a steel sculpted man. I'm Leon Bibb.